Hello and welcome. My name is Carsten Lutzen. I'm an Agile coach and a facilitator, Scrum Master, whatever we call it. Do you know what you call the night that nobody expected? Surprise! Uh, and there is a reason why I share this. So today I'll talk about jokes in facilitation, which is something I use quite a lot. And if you like these videos, please consider to subscribe and share. That would be really awesome. Okay. So back to this. When I facilitate, I use often a lot of dad jokes. And it's not random dad jokes, but curated dad jokes that are maybe a bit to the stupid side, but again, to just get the flow going. And why do I do that? Some people have asked me from time to time, why is it that I use all those jokes and what's the reason for this? And I've tried to distill it in this video. So I have found that humor in general, whether it being dad jokes or something else, really helps create a relaxed atmosphere. And in, I would say 99% of the cases where I facilitate, I want this relaxed atmosphere because that is where we can open up, be honest, be vulnerable, help really to move the needle, to uh, figure out what are we doing about that problem or how do we fix this or how do we fix that. There are of course in some situations where this is not a good idea. If you are facilitating a really tense discussion then maybe stupid dad jokes is not the best going in. Um, but anyway. So dad jokes in general, I really find them to ease this tension and also encourage engagement because for instance, the joke I just shared before, right? People will think and somebody will maybe even come up with, um, come up with an answer. Also sometimes the right answer. And do you know what you call the night that keeps the map up to date? Date? Surveyor. So I have like a long string of these what do you call a night that something something that I use throughout the day so people can start to guess it's so something. And again, it encourages engagement and it's awesome. Of course, you can only use that string of jokes once. But it also builds rapport and connection. It helps humanize me as a facilitator. I'm not this um, different breed of people, right? I'm just another human as the participants and it helped me uh, level out the playing field a lot. Yes, I might be standing up here presenting uh, timing stuff, but I'm just yet another human. And these jokes really helps humanize me as a facilitator. And it's the same with laughs. Laughing together is one of the best ways of getting people bonded, getting them to uh, understand and see each other. So laughing. Some will, it will almost be a, a laugh uh, out of pity for how bad the joke was, but it's still a laugh, right? And it really breaks down these barriers that you can find, especially if it's a group of people that don't know each other. It might also give them something, an easy topic to discuss at the water cooler or at the coffee uh, machine, right? Oh, that guy Carsten, his jokes are terrible. Yes but then they have the conversation going and they will probably find something else to talk about, which is what I really would like people to do. It improves focus. So just having like before the break or after the break, these short mental breaks where I share a somewhat stupid joke, right? But it really just mixes humor and work. And then people are much more likely to get, okay, now we focus on this. And then we can step back and focus on the jokes afterwards. But now we'll focus on the work and then we can use the jokes as a mental break. It's super easy and it takes 30 seconds and then we can go on. Um, enhances creativity. A lot of these jokes are in nature playful, right? And it also helps this lateral thinking because it's often we say something and then at the end, a classic joke build up, right? then we switch it around, then we change it. So you need to be aware, awake at, to get the meaning It's ah, now I got it. So it helps create this. And also when I facilitate, I will go around, talk to groups, right? Share them, uh, share a little joke or 
do something like to again ease the ease the mood, lighten up the session. And I know that this is not for everyone, but I have found that it works for a lot of people. Not everybody, but a lot of people. And if I can see people doesn't like this uh, type of interaction and these jokes, then of course I back off. When I'm a facilitator, I'm not there to uh, be center stage. I'm there to unlock the creativity and the participants. So if the jokes fall flat, super, then I won't do them. But in general, jokes and facilitation is maybe my uh, secret, not secret, my superpower at least when I facilitate. I'm quite curious to see how are you using humor and jokes in facilitation and have you found the same uh, benefits as I have or have you found even more benefits? That's it. If you have comments, questions, ideas or feedback to these videos, please consider to leave me a message or send me a mail. That would be awesome. Or leave a comment, of course. That's it. Have a super awesome day.